Welcome back to QDads, I'm Steve, and yes, I'm here with another episode of Dark Matter for you, where we'll be discussing the ending of the episode with the ceiling of the box, what is now in store for Ryan, and also how these other realities are like dreams that are connected through subconsciousness. And also, has this episode led us to the birth of a second box? I'll be explaining how that's possible towards the end. Don't forget to give us a quick like and subscribe and join us once again for this infinite ride with infinite theories. The episode starts with Jason 2 finishing his deal and Daniela has now started to paint again, which I actually have an interesting theory about, so hold on to that thought. He meets with Leighton 1 and gives him the drugs that were promised and sends him on his way, but I'm pretty confident this won't be the last time we'll see Leighton 1. Although, I am surprised in this episode we don't get to see Leighton 2. Is he still alive? And what's he been up to? We then get to see Jason 2 pick up Charlie from his date. And this is when the last week's mention of a peanut allergy kicks in. As Jason 2 gives in some ice cream that contains nuts. Of course this sets off his allergies. But also solidifies the doubt that was in Daniela's mind. That there's something just not quite right about this Jason. We're then back with Jason 1 and Amanda 2 in the woodland as they continue to note details about Jason's correct world. The village tap sign not being the correct colour, the fact there's a wine bar opposite, we even get a world with a blonde Daniela, where clearly Jason was trying to find out if blondes really do have more fun. However, each time they do this and explore the different worlds, they obviously start to run low on the drugs. They decide to have a proper night's sleep and book into a motel, here they discuss finding their core traits that make each version of them, who they are, the most fundamental versions. I actually thought here that the reason why they struggle to find the correct world is actually because of Amanda. As they both enter superstition, they both have different thoughts. Although Jason is determined to get to his Daniela, Amanda's mind is also searching for someone, so the box has to find the best of both, hence why we're still a long way from World 1. Oh, and we get some awkward dancing. We've all been there. Overall, the scenes here were very interesting, as at one point Amanda says something along the lines of, should she stay in bed with Jason 1? But he says he wants her to, but she probably shouldn't. Now, is this also a reason why Jason 1 is unable to return home? Has he also fallen for Amanda? It's not that crazy, seeing as Jason 2 did, and ultimately, they branch from the same person. Could the conflict in Jason's love interest be causing his issues with the box? Jason too talks with Amanda One in therapy about his life and that things are slowly unravelling, but it's worth mentioning here that there were some subtle flirtatious glances, so I reckon this is a relationship that will soon blossom. This happens at the same time Blair One talks to Daniela and actually suggests that she follows Jason too. Now before she does, Jason 2 takes her to a charity auction to showcase her work. This obviously goes wrong and the two argue massively. And like all husbands, he's clueless to what he's done wrong. But interestingly here, the painting to me represents the previous version of Daniela, who was sick hiding behind the door in the last episode. Is this the same as when people say that when you dream, you actually see into other realities? Has Daniela 1 actually painted another version of herself from another reality? She does decide to follow Jason too to the storage unit and after he leaves she manages just to get under enough to obtain an empty drug vial. She then speaks with Ryan about this. Jason 1 continues to search for his world and learns that actually he now understands why Jason 2 is the way he is. After watching a version of himself and Daniela go on dates, he tells Amanda he can imagine that Jason 2 did this to him, replacing an already existing version of himself. Then Ryan 1 confronts Jason 2 after Daniela gave him the empty vial, and immediately questions where he got this compound from, and how has he managed to create it. But instead, Jason 2 offers to show him how the box works, because he's got no morals and wants to show everyone his box. Shame on you, Jason 2. But in doing so, he ends up taking Ryan to a new world and leaving him there, abandoning him. But also at the end, he realises that Daniela was the one who found the empty vial. And as we end the episode, Jason 2 delivers on his promise from the previous episode. 
and actually seals the box with concrete. That's right, he has sealed the outside of the box with concrete, meaning that Jason 1 will not be able to come back to his own world. Overall, the episode was good as the pace is starting to pick up, but actually, there is nothing too exciting about this episode, and not a lot is bringing me to the edge of my seat, which is a shame, as although it isn't bad, I expect better. With that being said, one of the questions I have is in fact around Ryan. So Ryan was left in this new version of Chicago, but what is Jason's plan? Ben said, obviously, this Ryan has all the knowledge of how to create the compound and has now seen it work, so he'll be even more determined to make it happen. Will Ryan in this new world be able to recreate the compound or even work with another version of himself to be able to access the box? Are we about to see a team of the same people in multiple realities working together in unison? Alternate people assemble. Ben did also mention something around the core traits that Amanda had mentioned earlier. Does Jason too not have the core trait of cooperation? Will this ultimately backfire on him as those around him slowly team up on him? Now my question around this new world, the Aurora Borealis. It would be quite rare for it to be seen in Chicago and weirdly this actually happened recently in May 2024 in case you're watching from the future but for this to happen we had some weird solar storms. So what is causing this to happen in Ryan's new world? Has Jason 2 sent Ryan 1 to a world where his serum cannot be made? He did say this is a world where his friend can be happy but as far as I remember Ryan 2 wasn't close friends with Jason 2, so why would he consider Ryan 1 to be a friend? I know Ryan 2 did help with the creation of the syrup, but it didn't look like they had spoken much by the time Jason 1 appeared in that world. So this screams to me that this world might not be kind to Ryan. For all we know, it's a world where Ryan died as a child, or in the womb. All I really know is it's clear Jason 2 has an extremely good control of the box. I think it's going to be really interesting to see what happens next. Now, all this world swapping leads me on to Jason 2. What is his plan now he has sealed off the box? What are his intentions? Things are obviously falling apart with Daniela. So is he going to reach out for Amanda instead? But now, ultimately, he's trapped himself in this world. There is no escape option for him. Is that something that's going to last? And of course, what will Jason 1 do when he realises that the box is sealed in? Will he think this is the wrong world and carry on, or will he realise Jason 2 has done this? Now, this is where my second box theory comes into play. When Jason 2 and Ryan 1 first enter the box together, Ryan 1 gets the box explanation, but with a little bit more thrown in. This time Jason says you're seeing each possible box line up at the exact time and space as each other, implying the box is always in the same place, which obviously we know. This made me think though, to mention the coordinates and stuff felt like it was important. It's not like these boxes existed before. They only appear when the door is opened or if you outright create one. So a second, third, fourth or nth number of box could be created. So Jason 2 is never really safe. Well Jason 1, upon discovering his world is locked, seek to create another box, slightly to the left of the existing one. I mean... We assume Velocity only has one research lab and one box, and I think that would be silly. Are we about to find out Velocity has boxes scattered across the globe in Jason 2's world? I personally still think, in an infinite number of worlds, Jason 2's world can't be the only one to discover this technology. Maybe this ties back to Ryan 1's new world. It did look a bit more technologically advanced. Let me know your thoughts. Will we get a second box? Finally, something that made me think. There was a point in the show when Amanda and Jason met back at the box after exploring the world by themselves and we get a chime indicating a switch in reality but we never changed. Yeah. Is this a continuity error that had me second guessing myself or was it intended by the showrunners? Amanda did say she thought Jason 1 had left her at one point. I'm not going to lie, I did think he was going to. Could Jason 1 have swapped worlds and come back? It seems a bit strange as he can't really control the box, but he clearly has feelings now for Amanda. Feelings that might be conflicting with his feelings for Daniela. So, might he have been able to return? 
Let me know your thoughts. Now, finally, a bit of moaning about the show. I like that we visit new worlds and stuff, but it feels like we only see a glimpse of each one. I think it would be interesting to spend some time with some of the others. I assume the budget constraints stop this. But for example, I would really like to have seen more in the new world with Ryan. It would have been interesting to see him explore it a bit before he was left behind. Or when Leighton 1 visited a new world. I just think there's a missed bit they could have put in. The only elongated scene in another world we got was the one in the snow. And really, smart people wouldn't be running off in a snowstorm. I'm calling it now. We're going to get a Dark Matter Ryan's New World spin-off. Hopefully Apple will give me a kickback for the idea. Anyways, enough messing. Do any of you wish they fleshed out these new worlds more? Instead of just a scene here or there? Let me know. Thank you for watching. Look out for our next drops next week. We'll be covering Apple's Presumed Innocent, the TV series, as well as giving you our thoughts and opinions on House of the Dragon Season 2 when it drops. So, my questions to you. What's Jason 2's plan now? Will Daniela suspect him of Ryan's disappearance? Will we see a second box created? And finally, will Leighton 2 pop back up? Please like and subscribe as you don't want to miss out on our future videos. And it does help us to grow. And as always, catch you next time with something new.